they've thrown the club now into crisis mode. What yeah, happened well, afterwards? It was a bad loss for us, there's no doubt. You know, we were expected to win, but we didn't. And um, all we can do now is uh, look forward to the next couple of weeks. Was the coach really harsh afterwards because you've gone from second down to fifth? Yeah. No, Parkham wasn't very happy, it's, you know, obvious. And, uh, but he, he said, you know, we can't draw on it too long. We've got to get on with the job and build off a calling with this week, which would be a huge game. Now, Greg, uh, I'd like to ask you this question. Apparently you, uh, you didn't attempt to kick with your right foot yesterday. You had 27 possessions, a lot of handballs. But is this a wise move, going so close to the finals into a game? What, 80% fit? Yeah, I got, had a few problems with my knee against Richmond last week, Ted, and uh, decided to play yesterday. You know, it wasn't a, you know, my best game either, but you know, I decided to play. And uh, so, so you moved, you were moved out of the centre down to the half forward line in the end of the game. Was that because uh, the knee was sore, or because uh, Robert Harvey had had a good game on Mark. you? Robert, Robert, yeah, Robert. few reasons. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying Mark, Mark one. Harvey. Mark Harvey. One hey, Ted, Mark Harvey plays for Essendon. I'm saying Mark one for Sam's question. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I well, think you made a mistake, yeah. mate. No, Harvey's had a good game. No question. And uh, we were struggling to kick a few goals. So <laughs> there's a couple of reasons here, Sam. He's, a rare expert. He's got me confused. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was right. Yeah, 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 right. Yeah, yeah, you, you were right. right. Hey, but what while is... you blokes work it out, I mean, let's just have a look at the game. Drizzly Sh rain right. turned that match at Princess Park uh, into a bit of a slog. And if you look at this, the scores there, there wasn't too much in it going into uh, half time. Only just three points there. But at the end of the day, it was enough to lose the points for Carlton and uh, St Kilda. Well, Kenny Sheldon's probably looking a little safer. Yeah, it was interesting. It was in a patchy game yesterday in that Carlton really jumped and killed her early. The first 10 minutes was, was dominated really by the Carlton small men and uh, around the ground they did very well. But then the game took a bit of a turn and St Kilda you know, played, a, uh, played an excellent um, rest of the first half to go, you know, go in with a bit of a lead there at half time. How did they shut down um, the Carlton's forward line? With Kernahan back, you would have thought that, uh, gee, it was all going to work just like clockwork. an interesting one to even ask Greg. Uh, uh, Silvani went down to full forward in the last quarter, and I thought the forward line, the Carlton forward line, operated very well with him down there. They just seemed to be, better, you reckon? Yeah, that, that little bit more movement. Do you, would you prefer him as a backman, or would you like to see him probably play more in the forward line? Well, it depends, because he's kicked, you know, he's kicked a couple of bags this year of goals, and he's also gone back against Hawthorne and, you know, stopped Dunsell, you know, he's just... He just mm. plays where yeah. you know Parkin thinks he's best for the um, day. The Kernahan there, you know, didn't have one of his better days, but was you know, played on Frawley <laughs> most of the day, and, and Frawley was just fantastic, I think. And you know, um, as, as skippers go, he's just inspiration. Just two quick ones to you, Greg. Have you played on on Harvey before? Yeah, a couple of times, Ted. He's a tough customer. Yeah, he's a really good player. There's no and question. And tell me, Young Heaver apparently opened up in the blaze of glory in the first half. Yeah, he's kicked five for the day, I think, and uh, yeah. he's been a terrific player for this year. He has. And Justin went off the ground later in the game. Do you think that had something to do with the, getting the ball out of the centre? Normally, if you're in there, and uh, Bradley and Madden in there, it seems to work much better, and he did, did go off the ground later. Yeah, I think David wanted to get us a bit, of run, bit more running around the ground at that stage, and uh, Welsh come on to do that job. Well, Simon, you've uh, justified... Uh your brother getting the game next week saying that, haven't you, really? Yeah, he rang me up and said I should just put in a good word well, for Well, you've him. done it. Let's forget okay, about I've it done now. It, right? you think, uh, <laughs> done this it, is Justin, a very important match coming up next week against Collingwood at the MCG. A, will you be fit with that leg? Would you play again with the same fitness Gee. level you had this week? <laughs> Good. Yeah, Ted, you, Ted. There's no question. Yeah. If it was State of Origin football, would you yeah. play it's next week? It's not State week? of Origin. That's a hypothetical question I'm asking you. And I just asked, would he be playing next week at the same fitness level as he was before the game yesterday? I'll be playing, Ted. And no kick with your left foot only. He said yes three yes, times, know, Ted. Let's move. It was a shell shock, David Park, and after the match, Simon O'Donnell <laughs> caught up with you. This is what it looked like. <laughs> David, four points, obviously, you would have liked. A pretty important four points, Simon, really. I think um, 12 and a half wins might be uh, just enough. It might have been just a bit of insurance, and uh, it just makes the next two weeks uh, pretty much imperative for us to achieve our, uh, our first uh, goal. So yeah, they were four points that uh, well, we, I, you know, that I thought we could get. That uh, the the um, end product sort of justified the means today, and we should have absolutely been hell bent, which, in my opinion, didn't happen, because it just might have been uh, the opportunity to close the door without having to worry about uh, either Collingwood or the Swans. But uh, now it's back in our court to do something about it. It certainly is back in their court. Uh, Collingwood, uh, Carlton next week will be an absolute blockbuster, as we've said earlier. 
I was just going to say, apropos to what David Parkin said then, I thought uh, Carlton were a bit disconcerted by St Kilda's spirit and they were looking, Carlton, for guys like you, Brent Heaver, and of course Stephen Kernan, some prime movers to get something happening, or don't you see it that way, Greg? Uh, Sam, we had too many players down yesterday. and um, It was a pretty important occasion, though. Why was, would they be down? Well, I'm um, not sure. Well, they got beaten by their opponent, because usually yeah, it's about 50-50. So Kilda did a great job, you know. One can't on one. So, Simon, Simon just, before, uh, just before you two blokes stop eyeballing one another, of course, you can make an appointment for any time after 2 o'clock, fellas. You'll be all right. Simon, Nicky Winmar, it seemed to me that he's been accepted back into the club. Frawley and he were embracing during the game. I mean, that was a body language there. And it hasn't always been like that in the past couple oh, of weeks. They, they had their bad time, you know, middle of the year there when St Kilda were a bit down, but everything seems fine. And, and to see the club play with that spirit yesterday is, is very heartening, especially for next year. You've made okay. the difference, Simon. Well, you as far as next week, Greg. Louis, okay, Greg, thank you very much for coming in <laughs> again. You never quite know which way uh, it's coming from. Teddy will play next week. Good luck against Collingwood. Max is in the hand too later. Louis, just one moment. Take a breath. I will. After the break, the Bombers hold off the dogs. And Lou, and they hang on to top place. <laughs>